So I'm Brian here with uh, Bob and Rob from Carbide Labs, and what are you doing? So we're working on a desktop pick and place machine. So we are targeting hobbyists, R&D type folks, educational users, to enable them to build their own circuits, right? Uh, to design and fabricate professional quality stuff without the professional quality price tag. Okay. Uh, so electronics assembly is normally a, a three-step process, right? You print a board, you populate the board, and then you have to bake it to adhere the components to the board. Right? Yeah. So you've got a baseboard, you've got a whole bunch of components you put on the baseboard, and then you heat it to adhere the components to the board, right? Yeah. And that makes your circuit. Uh, our device, the pick and paste, right, applies solder paste to a board, right, and places the components onto the board. And then does the reflow. The reflow is a separate process. Okay. Uh, we we do this because generally speaking, if you if you want to do the the board printing or the reflow, reflow is easy to do yourself. Board printing is easy to mail away. The placement process is difficult, time consuming to do by hand, very expensive to mail away. So this is kind of the piece of the puzzle that's usually the most difficult for individuals and small users to do. So this is the piece we kind of attacked first. This is actually a modularized system. So this is a pick head. This is a paste extruder. Uh -huh. uh, so this will, you know, kind of ride over the the pads and distribute solder paste onto them. We're not doing it today because it's lead yeah. based and. Um, but you can swap these out, right? So we can throw two pick heads in uh, and just up the volume. And then this is the actual pick head. Uh, so this is going to be what's in charge of like grabbing the uh, grabbing the parts and actually putting them down. As where this is just to put the, the paste in, then you can just pull the thing off, throw it in your okay. in your reflow, and you're good to go. And this is pretty much extendable to whatever size you want. Yeah, this this will do a pretty good range. Uh, we've got. 0603 is at like you know 50 50 right now. That's getting refined. Uh, we've also got a big. We've been testing up to these really big QFN sizes, so something that would fit in this well. Um, so it can it can pull a lot of uh, okay. pull a pretty big range of stuff. Okay. Uh, the bed is effectively unstructured. It's flexible. Uh, right now, we're basically throwing stuff down, and then we, we manually jog it to like zero everything out. Okay. Uh, what we're planning to move towards is a, a fiducial-based system, so we'll tag each of these with a, a unique fiducial, and then you'll do a scan over the, uh, the bed before you start running. That'll let you get positions and offsets of all the wells, and you just tell the system where the... Uh, uh, yeah. Which part is in which well off of the bomb? Uh, tell it where the board is, and then you you press go and it starts putting stuff together. This is good.